Welcome to Code Jungle. In this video, we will discuss about stop by and sell for maximum profit. Before we go ahead, let's have a look at the problem statement. Given here is an array which has the price of a stock on various dates. Provided that the stocks can be purchased and sold once, a requirement is to find the purchase day and the selling day along with the maximum profit that can be made. So, what could be the approach to solve this problem? Pretty easy. We'll find the minimum stock price and maximum stock price and then get the profit. Okay, so in that case, let me give you a different scenario. So now tell me the buying day and selling day in this scenario. Okay, in this case, minimum stock price is 50 and maximum stock price is 250. But how can you sell a stock before even buying it? Oh, then that's an incorrect approach. Exactly. Now let's look for a feasible solution. For this, we are going to iterate through this array. The iteration has to go from day 2 till the end of the array. But before that, we have some prerequisites. So, we will consider minimum stock price and maximum stock price as the price of day 1 that is 100 and our profit has to be 0. Now while iteration let's consider a condition. If our maximum stock price value that is 100 is less than the price of day 2 that is 120. So in that case we will set the maximum stock price as the price of day 2 that is 120 and we will let the loop go ahead. Again, we will consider the same condition that is if maximum stock price value is less than the price of day 3 then we will set the maximum stock price as the price of day 3 and we will let the loop continue. The condition goes ahead similarly and hence the value of day 4 that is 200 gets assigned to the maximum stock price. In the next iteration when we see that maximum stock price value is less than day 5 this condition when, gets, when this gets false in that case we have to calculate a difference which is maximum stock price that is 200 minus minimum stock price that is 100 and here we get a difference. Now we check if the difference value is greater than profit in that case we assign the difference to the profit. In our scenario our profit is 0 presently and that's why we assign the difference amount to the profit and hence profit becomes 100. Also our buying value becomes minimum stock price that is 100 and our selling becomes maximum stock price that is 200. Now the next thing which we need to take care over here is we need to update the minimum stock price and maximum stock price value and this value has to be similar to the value of the day on which the condition got false. So the minimum stock price and maximum stock price value becomes 80. Now let's resume back our iteration and check on the condition. So the condition over here is maximum stock price value has to be less than day 6. However, this condition is not true over here. So we will calculate the difference over here which will again be maximum stock price minus minimum stock price. This time the value comes as minus 30. Again, we will check the condition whether difference is greater than profit or not. This time, our difference 
is not greater than profit because the difference is minus 30. However, the profit was 100. So, the condition is false and that's why the profit remains as 100 and the buy and selling value also remains unchanged. Next, we will consider the iteration back and we will set the minimum stock price and maximum stock price to the price of day 6 where the condition got false and hence minimum stock price and maximum stock price becomes 50. When the condition is checked again, this time the maximum stock price has to be less than day 7 which is true and hence the maximum stock price gets updated and it becomes 110. In the next iteration, again we check if the maximum stock price is less than the price of day 8 or not, which is true and hence the maximum stock price value gets updated again. The similar iteration goes for day 9 as well and hence because the value is true, that's why the maximum stock price becomes 200 which is the value of day 9 and similarly in case of day 10 the maximum stock price value becomes 210 finally once we reach to the end of the loop and the iteration ends over here we will need to again consider the difference amount and the difference amount is maximum stock price minus minimum stock price which is 210 minus 50 which comes out as 160. Now again we check whether difference is greater than profit or not. This time our profit is 100 and difference is 160 hence the condition is true and that's the reason why our profit becomes 160, our buying value becomes 50 and selling value becomes 210. So as our buying value is 50 our buying day becomes day 6 as the selling value is 210 that's why selling day becomes day 10 and the profit which we are supposed to calculate becomes 160. That's all for this video. A source code for this algorithm is provided in the link given below in the description box. If you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and do comment share and subscribe to the channel. We will be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching.